So it's a two group machine, you've got two group handles and these fit into the group heads here. A little tip is when you're, not, when you're waiting for your next customer, always leave the handles in the coffee machine to keep it nice and warm. So it's a two handed job to take it out to the left. So the first thing to do is when you've used the handle, it's waste coffee, so it needs tapping out in the knockout drawer. And then it's ready to start again with fresh coffee. So this is the two scoop handle here. So we're going to put two shots of coffee in it. The handle sits underneath here and we pull it once, twice for the double shot. We're going to tamp it down, little tap on the side and tamp it again. Dust your hand over the top, then it's ready to go into the group handle. Pull it around firmly. Next you're going to need a couple of cups. So these are a 8 ounce cup, so we recommend a single shot in each cup. And that sits underneath the group handle, like that. Next we need to press the button, so we're going to use this double button here. It's an automatic machine, so what will happen is it will deliver the perfect espresso and then it's going to turn itself off. It usually takes about 25 to 30 seconds to do that and then you know it's delivered the right drenth of espresso if you like. While your coffee's pouring, what we normally do is we get the milk jug ready with some fresh milk in it um, to make the milk. We're always going to be working with a clean cloth. And what we need to do before we make every coffee is we need to purge the steam wand. So we're going to give it a wipe and turn it on. Okay, so to firm the milk, you're going to hold the jug with one hand and this hand here is going to test the temperature. It's going to put the steam arm into the milk, turn it on, lower it down until you hear that sort of crackling noise. As soon as it's too hot to touch, you're going to take your hand off and slowly turn it off. As soon as you've done that, you're going to give it a wipe again. Make sure it's nice and clean and you should have enough milk there to do about two drinks. So you're going to pour a little bit in, swirl it round, and top it up. 